Yo guys, what's going on? My name is James. Welcome back to the Griffin GFX YouTube channel. It's mainly a graphic design channel, but we kind of do a bit of whatever we want. Uh, anyway, today I'm going to be teaching you how to go from zero to a hero on the pen tool in Photoshop. Now, this is the kind of artwork that I do on my channel and I only use the pen tool for it. So you guys often ask me like, how do you make the line so smooth? How do you blah 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 basically how do you use the pen tool, blah, pen tool. Uh, you can do such a wide range of artwork with it you can see these kind of are all in different styles I put them on t-shirts uh, it's called muddy clout it's a brand that I've made that's upside down uh, you can check it out in the description if you're interested it's basically combining uh, hype beasts and cartoons so yeah if that's something you're into go check it out uh, you can see you can have like gradients, you can have vibrant colours, smooth lines and it's all done with the pen tool so I'll be showing you how to do that in today's video with an interactive game that I've made myself in Photoshop. So all you have to do is download the Photoshop file, open it up on your own computer and just have a go. In this tutorial I'll be showing you how to like do level 1 just so you understand how the game works. If that's the only bit you're interested in, then there should be a little time stamp on the screen at the moment and skip to that. If you want to learn how to use the pen tool first, I'm going to be showing you how to do a simple bit of artwork using nothing but the pen tool. Uh, so yeah, let's get straight into that. Let's open up a new document. And let's begin. What do we want to draw? Let's literally just draw a ball for the sake of showing you how stuff works. So I'm using my drawing tablet just to draw a quick circle. Um, if you don't have a drawing tablet, don't worry, you can literally just do like a sketch on a bit of paper and then drag it into Photoshop. Um, like, as in email it to yourself and then pull it in type thing. So you want to make sure you're always on a new layer, never draw on your all white layer, otherwise you're going to run into problems. So on a new layer, I'm just going to literally get a, um, a rough circle, the pressure's getting to me. I'm also like having to go to the side of my like my mic's here and I'm having to kind of dip to the side. So now we've got this, what I'm going to do is just lower the opacity of it and now we're moving straight onto the pen tool. So how I use the pen tool is there's two ways of using it. You can either click and make your selection by just dragging the lines around, then right clicking and then pressing stroke path and then it's just going to, um, let me do that on a new layer stroke path okay and it's just going to fill it in for you now the width of this is determined by however big your brush is so if i make my brush huge and do it again you'll see it's also going to be huge now this isn't how i use the pen tool i like to kind of make my own widths like i'd like to determine how thick it is myself how i do this is by i go around it like this and then right before getting to the end instead of connecting it I go back on myself um, and this helps for like creating lines exactly how I want them to be and then you can literally just use the um, make a new layer again just fill it in with the bucket and it's gonna do that for you and then what you can do to fill little bits like this in I see a lot of people often trying to fix it just by clicking like that it's never gonna look right what you want to do is overcompensate. I usually start somewhere like that and then I pull it up like that and then so you can see it comes out of the black line and then back into the black line in one smooth motion and I'll do it the same here but I'm going to do it a bit more extreme because it comes out at a bit of a weird angle there. So I need to make up for that by making it bigger. Um, and then when you click and you want to fill it in, if I use the um, paint bucket tool right, you can see how it gets these lines because what happens is if there's color there and then you try and paste color right next to it they don't quite touch each other um, so what you want to do is just use your brush and just go over it like that that's why I use the brush a lot of people say you, you know you can just fill it in one button but that's that's why I use the brush uh, so once you've got that we can delete the sketch layer from underneath now how you add color to the inside of a pen tool is you want to click on the this layer here, the pen tool layer, you want to use your magic wand and you want to select the entirety of it. You then want to go underneath it, make a new layer and then if you fill straight away I'll show you what happens. If I just press G to get the bucket up and press and then click, right around the edges, it doesn't look too bad on this but in certain situations you'll find that there's a slight gap between the colour and the stroke 
and how you can fix that is once you're selected on this area here if you go select um, modify expand and then expand by because this is quite a thick stroke we could expand by a lot but if you expand by like two you'll normally be fine you see how it then goes in slightly then you want to make sure once again you're on the layer underneath because if you're on the layer above it's not going to work but if you go underneath then you'll see that if i turn the opacity down the red is actually going into the black slightly it just means that your artwork is going to be flawless uh, what we'll do now is we'll make a layer above this red layer and we'll right click on it and go create a clipping mask what that does is it means that when you're drawing let's say you're doing a black line if you go off the edge it's not going to go off the edge it's only going to go on to where it's red uh, so what that does is it means you can like add your shadows and add your lighting so let's say we want uh, to yeah add some lighting to this basically I will usually start with where it's most extreme so if we go like that if we imagine the light was coming from the top left so I'm making the bottom right the absolute darkest we'll just fill that in and then you can lower the opacity slightly like that and then you want to add the lighting on the opposite side by doing the same thing but this time you'll use the color white or you'll just like pick your own color so you might have a look here and go well let's just go for somewhere in between red and white and then click like that that is like in the simplest form how to use the pen tool you can do loads with it obviously you can use gradients you can use the pen tool to start off your artwork and then switch up to brushes or whatever you want but that's it in the simplest kind of tutorial if you're struggling with any of it then jump into our discord uh, it will be the pinned comment if you want to join it it's like a design community type thing people are always sharing their artwork and getting feedback and helping each other grow so it's a good place to go uh, and whilst I'm on the topic of announcing things if you're traveling anywhere and want an Airbnb this uh, this upcoming summer maybe um, go into the description because I can get you I think it's 25 pounds off your first Airbnb uh, so definitely do that and also if you don't know already about Skillshare it's a great platform it's where I'm currently learning animation but you can learn cinema 4d you can learn Photoshop you could literally do a tutorial on the pen tool on there uh, it's a great platform and if you use my link you can get two months free and you can cancel it anytime so if you don't like it you don't have to carry on they won't charge you a penny uh, and yeah, I'm not sponsored by them. That's just me a bit like talking from the fact that I literally use it. And if you sign up and get the two months free, I get an extra one month free. So yeah. Anyway, let's move on to the game. When you first open the game, links in the description. When you first open the game, you'll come onto this page where I talk about Donald Trump and deleting the file if you're not subscribed to me. <laughs> just hide that layer and then you'll be straight into the game so you can see in the top left corner it says brush size 45 hardness 100 percent and then level one zero i'll explain what that means in a second uh, you want to set your brush to red and then you want to do what it says and get your color and get your size sorry to 45 if you use the um the square bracket key on your keyboard you can click it and it's going to keep making your brush bigger and smaller depending on if you use the small bracket or big bracket so get it to 45 it's about this width here and then you're ready to play so this is the start this is the finish uh, this is just level one there's 10 levels and they get harder and harder uh, I don't want to show them because I want it to be a surprise for you guys anyway I've just realized I'm gonna need to put on each layer which one the start and which one the finish is because on this one it obviously doesn't matter but on some of them it does so that will have changed when you get onto this in the future there will be little letters on the circles telling you where to begin and where to finish how you play it is you want to look at what it says so this one level one zero means you cannot click a single time inside the white area which means you're only allowed to click there and there so what that does is obviously that doesn't work so what you have to do is click and then drag until it's perfect so level one's hella easy uh, the rules are you're not allowed to adjust things that are in the white area obviously in this level you're not even allowed to click in the white area but let's say it's a, like a really long pathway like some of the levels are and you've had to go like that and then to there let's say your line isn't quite working you're not allowed to click and then go back and start fiddling like this and dragging bits around and doing that and going actually meh, meh, meh. you can't do any of that what you are allowed to do 
is when you first click, you can hold Alt and then drag this line out. That then determines how powerful your first move is going to be. For example, if you drag it up this way, then click there, there's no way you're going to bend it like and get it in because it's trying to go that way. But let's say this was a really steep line and you were struggling to do it just by doing that. You can help yourself by pre-dragging this and then clicking and you can see it's already starting to do the curve for you. So if we did that but with even more power to like there maybe, I might mess this up. Oh, it's almost in. Let's go a little bit further. Bang, you can see that without even adjusting my second click, that line's already been done for me. So remember that whilst you're doing this game. Uh, have a go at doing it. If you're struggling on any of the layers, then I'll show you how you can reveal the guide. So on every single layer, on every single level, sorry, there's three layers. One of them is the level itself. I just gave you a little sneak peek on the one underneath. Um, you may as well see it now. It's good we're doing the dab. So the first layer is always the, um, the game itself. The one above it is the layer that you're supposed to do everything on. So once you've gone like that and gone like that, and then right click and then do your stroke path, you can then see if it's in. If it goes outside the white bit, then you're out. Doesn't count. You have to try again. Uh, but if it doesn't touch the outside at all, then you succeeded. So make sure you fill each layer in on the right layer. It says level one, draw here. The, um, the bit above is the guide. And to see that, you want to double click on the padlock. And then where it says opacity 0%, you want to drag that up. And it's going to reveal how to do it. Obviously that doesn't help you on level 1 because of how simple it is, but on some of the levels it will be quite useful because it will show you there'll be little dots in each place that I've clicked. Um, so yeah guys, have fun giving this a go. Make sure you drop a like if this is a useful video to you and subscribe because videos like this are obviously way harder to make than my normal video because not only do I have to make the tutorial, but I've literally made a whole game for the sake of the tutorial. So yeah, definitely drop a like and share this with people that you know are trying to learn the pen tool. Uh, have fun with the pack. This is all free to use. Um, if you're going to share it anywhere, just credit me and leave the pack as it is because it's like features me and stuff on it. Uh, anyway, that's all from me, guys. Make sure you definitely join the Discord if you want to be involved in like a nice graphic design community. Uh, drop a comment, I'll read everyone's comments and have a nice rest of your week, guys. That is me out. Bad, bad,